And to my viewers, yeah. uh, we don't turn nobody away, whether you have the COVID shot or not. All of you are welcome to come to God's house. It's a sin to turn a sick person away when they come to God's house. You didn't know that? It's a sin. Here, here, here. To turn a sick person away when they come to God's house. Jesus came in town and they heard he was in town. They ripped the roof off of a house. That's right. That's true. And lowered a man through the roof. It's a sin. Hear this now. To turn anybody away that's sick. If they come to God's house, you better not ever turn a person away. If they want to come in, let them in. Oh, yes. If they want to be baptized, glory to God, there's healing in that water there. They don't have to have no COVID shot to repent and be baptized. God said repent. God didn't say you got to have the shot. God said repent and be baptized. That's it. So none of the churches, better not ever, turn one person away. Not one. Because they don't have a shot. Amen. I was in the preaching pul in the pulpit preaching with the virus. And God healed me. Oh, yes. Amen. I received the email that a man came to one of the churches. And I've been blowing up the phone of the branch church. I have to investigate it. He heard the word of God, came to one of the branch temples with his children, and was uh, to be baptized. Yeah. Mm. And was told he can't come in without a mask. And he got to have the shot to be baptized. You ain't got to have no mask to come in God's house. Oh, no. my, my, my. When you say something can't be done, now you're stepping on the feet of doctrine. If you don't have no mask or no shot, you will never be turned away. And anybody turn you away, now you got me to deal with. I don't care who you are. The Bible says I was glad when they said unto me, let us go oh, yes. to the house of the Lord. That's what God put in there. And I don't care what calamity come on earth. We ain't changing it. I made mean this. No branch temple. No preacher. No minister better keep, better not keep no human. I don't care who they are for coming in the God house. Not even the nurses unit. If somebody come in with no mask, don't you tell them to leave. You ain't got that kind of authority. That goes for security. Somebody come in without a mask, you better not tell them to leave. You ain't got that kind of authority. God said one thing and you said another. You are go to hell. God knows you will. God said, come ye blessed. Come. We ain't going to turn nobody away. I don't care what kind of illness you have. If you're full of leprosy and got Corona, Sharona, Sharana, Veronica, uh, uh, Megatron, Optimus Prime, Starscream, I don't care what you got. Megatron. <laughs> Nobody from the medical team, no preacher, no brother, sister, or security no. better not ever turn one person away from God's house. Or I set you down or put you out. 
This is God's house. God's house. God says, whosoever will, let them come. That's what God said. The calamity that go on in the earth, don't change that book. We ask that you put on a mask. We ain't going to force you. We ask you to do it. Whosoever will. Or say, suppose they got a fever. If they want to stay, let them stay here. Let God heal them. Whosoever will. That Bible outweighs everybody. You see, I got to keep God off my back because God says, whosoever will, let them come and drink freely. Ain't that what God said? No, yo, no nurses unit. No minister. Nobody. But not ever lay a stipulation upon a person who want to be baptized. Now you're putting too much authority in your hands. And when you put too much authority on your hands, you stepped on God's turf. And when you step on God's turf, that's an alarm. Give me the 23rd chapter of the book of Psalms. I want everybody to follow me. There ain't nothing wrong with having rules implemented. But those rules better not step on God's turf. Where you turn somebody away from coming into God's house. And your reason is they're sick. Are you listening? Yeah. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Psalms, 23. Turn brother Mark up. Turn me ready up. Turn him up till I hear his echo coming out the speakers. That's right. In the book of Psalms, 23. Yeah, turn him up some more. And at verse 1. Yeah, turn me up too. I want to ruffle the feathers of undercover heathens. Wonderful. <laughs> Are you listening? Yeah. Wonderful. The book of Psalms 23. Everything in the building is sick. That's right. But ain't nobody in here that's not sick. That's true, man. And I ain't talking about COVID either. I'm talking about sin. That's right. That's true. That's true, man. What am I supposed to do? Turn you away because you're in sin? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father. Glory to God, except by me. Amen. Excellent. See, the apostle said, I said all things in order when I come. To turn nobody away. If they have a fever of 200. They want to come to God's house, tell them to press their way like the woman with the issue of blood. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Everything must be compliant with the book, not contrary to the book. Listen. Psalms 23 and at verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is, is my, my protector. Yeah. The Lord is my guide. The Lord is my keeper. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. I shall not want. What does he do? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He make me lie down in green pastures. Okay. What is green pastures? A place of comfort. Place of comfort and satisfaction. Green pasture. 
Green pastures. Comfort. Satisfaction. Plenty to eat. God, shepherd. People, sheep. Green pastures, that which is bountiful, plentiful. God lead his people where there's plenty of truth being preached. Oh, yeah. Glory to God, the word of God is our green pastor. That's right. No dried up grass here. Not here. Not here. Green. Green pastures. You digest this, God can hear you. While the word of God is being preached. God can deliver you. While the word of God is being preached. Amen. Never turn a person away from God's house. I don't care if they're so sick they can't hardly breathe. If they want to come, Jesus, who is God Almighty, said, Whosoever, that pushes everybody back. Ain't nobody else got no say so when he talks. Whosoever will, let him come. That's right. Ain't nothing nobody can do about that. Nothing. nothing. Whosoever will. Yeah. Who said it? The boss. And that's not me. That's right. Bible says repent and be baptized. I can't add a stipulation. Repent and you got to have a shot to be baptized. What do I look like? A fool? I got to keep it like the Bible says it. Oh, yeah. Even if a person got to burk a locust but wants to be baptized, I'm taking you in there. If you got AIDS and wants to be baptized, I'm taking you in there. If you got syphilis and wants to be baptized, I'm taking you in there. Why will I do it? We thank God because when they pierced him in the side, out came blood and water. And there's healing in that blood. Glory to God. Many people came out of the water, went in with the condition, and left the condition off. That's, right. That's true. That blood that was shed, glory to God, held them of their condition. I have to look past the condition. I have to look at God. I have to look past the condition and look at Scripture. Wonderful. No first church of the Lord Jesus Christ, no minister, no brother, no sister, better not ever make a stipulation to anyone who wants to come in God's house because they sick. You can't come? That's different from what God said. God ain't saying you got to have a shot to be baptized. God said repent. And we're going to keep it just like that. Why? That way it keep God's wrath away from you. And a wise person want to keep God's wrath far away from him. Never mind your personal views and your feelings. You know I don't care nothing about that. I have to keep it scriptural. Amen. Amen. I'm determined to keep it scriptural. That's why God bless us so much. Because I'm determined to keep it scriptural. I have no interest in no one personal views or feelings or ideology touching the scriptures. Don't bring it. I'm not interested. The moment you come to me. I'm interested in what God says. That's it, man. That's wonderful. Thank God that woman had the issue of blood. She was pressing through the crowd. She was. Trying to get a hold of Jesus. Amen. She said, if I can just touch. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be healed. And you mean to tell me somebody come in the building with that kind of faith? Sick? And believe God to heal them? And you keep them out? No! Absolutely not. Wonderful. Wonderful! 
Security better not do it. Nurses unit better not do it. If a person got a fever, that's a billion high. It's true. They want to come to God's house, turn them loose. Wonderful. Imagine me coming in sick and someone tell me, you can't come in here. Who you think you're talking to? That's right. If an old mother come in, frail and shaky, and she'll tell you, I want to get to God's house. I just, just let me get to God's house. If I die, let me die in God's house. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, yes. The way society do things and the way God does it is not the same. That's right. no. The way we think and the way God think is not the same. Oh, no. it's true. Jesus said, whosoever will. That got everybody under the sun. Everybody. Whosoever will. Let him come. Amen. And if he said let him, ain't nothing I can do about that. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's true. Amen. Let him come. That's right. Amen. You never know what God has in store for that man or for that woman that That's day. True. That's true, man. Amen. So true. Amen. Amen. The Lord. The yes. Lord is my shepherd. Is my, hallelujah. My protector, Amen. my keeper, my guide. Yes. I shall not want. Amen. Don't have to want for nothing else. He maketh me to he lie, make down me lie down in green pastures. Amen. I mend those pastures now. Yes. That's right. Yeah. You know, green pastures, you have to get to a point you experience those green pastures. I mend those green pastures now. They're green. Frank, I'm, I'm, I'm eating a lot of green oh, pastures. Yeah. pastures. Amen. Digesting a mouthful of scripture. Wonderful. Keep it green. green. Yeah. Profitable. What else? He leadeth me beside the still water. Wait a minute. There's still water and there's troubled water. Still. You see the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Troubled water in the natural. You the wind be boisterous and the water is all over the place. Waves is tossing. Still water meaning he leadeth me besides where? The still water. Waters that are calm. Water to represent your troubles. When the waters in your life is troubled, it's because there's a lot of wind. There's a lot of things blowing in your life. Then God speaks, peace be still. He calms those things. That's beautiful. And now the things in your life become as still waters because the power of God brings a calmness in your life. You know, listen, I know from experience, God can bring a calmness in your life that's out of the ordinary. And it is extremely extraordinary. I experienced that in falsehood. False prophet, amen, got over the pulpit and said, if Gino and Sister Darling get married, I hope you drop dead. He told the folk, if you say amen to him, I'm going to throw you out the church. He set me down for a year. Asked me after that, can you preach what I preach? I said, I'll preach what the Bible said. He said, being that you want to preach what the Bible said, I'll call the chapter and the verse. I went to the chapter and verse that he wanted, and God, the Holy Ghost put the work. He set me down another year. In the midst of all that madness, God gave me a calmness. People was asking me, what are you going to do? I said, I ain't going to do nothing. I experienced a calmness. From God in my teens that I never experienced before until then. Even now, when heathens some years ago raged and thought they can destroy the church, thought they can take my name and blacken it and taint it by using internet, they were trying everything. Different ones was telling me, why don't you get a lawyer? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? I said, I ain't going to waste my time, my energy, and my money for what? God gave me a calmness. Beautiful. I didn't even turn my back. What did I decide to do? I decided to step out and walk on water with Jesus. Oh, yes. yeah. Come on. 
when Peter, hallelujah, saw Jesus walking on water, he wanted to come out. Long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he stepped on water and walked. But the moment he started looking at the wind and the waves, he sunk and cried out to God to help him. When you take your eyes off God and start paying so much attention what you're dealing with, what you're faced with, what this one done to you, how long they've done it, that become a distraction until you can't see Jesus.